Okay, a short tutorial on how to get some funky colours into your font. Uh, this is a graffiti font called uh, Graffonti 3D Drop, which you can download from DaFont. Um, here, they actually have a graffiti section, uh, 20 pages, so quite a few things to choose from. All different styles, fat fonts, funky fonts, there you go, graffiti, Graffonti. Um, okay, let's get rid of that. So, how do we do it? Duplicate the, type your text, choose your font obviously. Duplicate the text layer, select the move tool, and from the move tools context menu, use the convert to curves. That creates a, a group with all the letters converted to curves. We need to eliminate the transparent center part so we select all of the layers within that group and add them together to create a single curve then we need to break that curve apart so we break it apart and it fills in the transparent areas and then we need to add those back together and what we have is an outline from here you can use command on Mac, control on Windows, left click on the square icon of that curve layer and you get a selection all the way around the edge. If we then turn that off, now we can see this, this layer and the image layer. If you go to the image layer and say we click on this one mask layer and it basically cookie cuts that shape out of the image now if you didn't like how you would positioned the image to create the colors if you drag the mask out just drag it above and then you can move oops sorry that's moving the mask click on the image and now you can move the image about until you get a kind of an image well a, a placement of the image that you like so we'll go with that no that one's better that's cool and you can either drag that in to the image again so it's it mas it's it's masking only that image because if i if i just deselect the text if i click on this and drag that below you've got this uh, black and you can see the black but if I drag that above it masks the rectangle out that's what that does making it a child of the image layer um, it only affects that image that's a little example of that that's basically it. If you wanted to put something like a drop shadow on there, do it from the image layer, not from the text, because you'll get shadows on the internal parts where it's transparent. Um, you may want that, but if you just want to drop shadow, do it from the image layer. That's basically it. Uh, you can also uh, click on the curve layer. Uh, if you select the move tool again, and then command click control click on windows to get the selection then go to select and you can save the selection as a spare channel or to a file so you do it to a spare channel and then from here there you go you can reload that selection back in and do a few things with it that's it hope you enjoyed the tutorial